The Kenya National Union of Teachers has sounded alarm over a biting cash crisis that threatens to wipe out the 62-year-old union. NAT decries the refusal by the Teacher Service Commission to deduct and remit at least 140 million shillings to it every month. Makori Yongechi reports on the state of the teachers' union. The operations of the giant teachers' union is grinding to a halt. According to NAT Secretary General, they have requested all its 2,000 employees to stay at home at the end of the holiday period. This attributed to a decision by the Teacher Service Commission to stop deducting and remitting at least 140 million shillings to the union. The move TSC defended initially as a technical hitch, but has since persisted for the last five months. So soon attributing this to the frosty relations between NAT and the teacher's employer. In a statement to Newsroom, Socion further says NAT for the first time in its history failed to hold the annual delegates conference due to lack of funds the conference having been held previously for 61 years already majority of the 110 nat branch offices across the country have been closed as the union failed to pay rent the move likely to invite auctioneers to the doorstep of the union as landlords demand for the rental income nat and tsc have had an on and off relationship for years this largely centered on the agitation for better pay for its estimated 188,000 members. But this took a different turn in 2018 when the union bitterly opposed the implementation of the competency-based curriculum. This got heated with attempts by TSC to infiltrate NAT's executive committee to plan the oust of Socion. This happening side by side of a court case in which the now-nominated member of parliament challenged his deregistration as a teacher by TSC. The commission has also flooded some 80,000 teachers from NAT's roll of membership, giving it room to terminate the recognition agreement with the union. Socion argues that this remains unlawful as the Labor and Employment Court in Nairobi put a freeze on the move. All these, he adds, a well-calculated move to kill the union. NAT, however, says it still hopes for a constructive engagement with TSC as the new year begins setting out several conditions to be resolved as part of reinvigorating their relationship. Makori Citizen TV, Nairobi.